good morning. Our gathering hymn today will be number 431. 431, blessed are they. 431. Our gathering hymn number 431, Blessed Are They. Blessed are they, the poor in spirit, this is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they, full of sorrow, they shall be consoled. Rejoice and be glad. Blessed are you, holy are you. Rejoice and be glad. Yours is the kingdom of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. But friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins.
Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for in those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, When Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt, I called my son. The more I called them, the further they went from me, sacrificing to the Baal and burning incense to idol. Yes, it was, yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arm, I drew them with human cords, with veins of love. I fostered them like one who raised an infant to his cheeks. Yet, though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God and not man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flame consume you. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power. Let us see your face, Lord, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, as you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals, or a walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace 
return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside the house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. But the many things that the apostles and the early disciples of Jesus has received from him is the fullness of Jesus himself that he has shown and has given them the entire mind of Christ that they may thoroughly embrace the kingdom of God. And perhaps this is what Jesus is trying to tell his disciples, to become his proclaimers of the good word. For he is the one who has planted the seed on them. For Jesus has revealed everything to them, what his Father has given him. And thus, they have now the sacred duty of proclaiming and spreading everything that he has taught to them. Well, Jesus has given them some special requirement about not bringing any extras on the road, which means that Jesus is telling them that everything is assured for them. Everything has been given unto them. That means that all of them need to just simply rely on the very help and the grace of the loving Lord. It is Jesus that makes them worthy, that sometimes, aside from material things, they would also try to question their own capacity. Jesus is telling them, you are already ready, you are already equipped, because you have been qualified by the very grace of God. And so, my dear friends, for all of us who receive God's kingdom now, we also, each and every one of us, as we would repeatedly hear our own role of also sharing the very word of God. But beyond that, as what I've said yesterday's Mass, we need to be rooted on what we have received. We need to be grounded on our own faith because it is only in rootedness on what we have received we are able to have the courage and the foundation to share Jesus to the rest of the world. In sending the apostles, Jesus told them not to be hampered by a lot of provisions, but to trust God in the hospitality of those who receive the gospel. Moreover, there are to give it without cost. Let us pray with confidence. May today's preacher of the gospel learn from the example of St. Paul, who did not make use of his right in the gospel so as not to put an obstacle to his preaching. We pray. <clears throat> May preachers learn from St. Francis of Assisi, who told his follower, go and proclaim the gospel, and if necessary, speak. For a good deed is more powerful than words, we pray. <clears throat> May the Lord open the hearts of those who hear the message of salvation and receive it with joy and thanksgiving, we pray. May the Christian people help provide for the need of preachers and missionaries, for the Lord has ordered that those who preach the gospel should live at the gospel, we pray. May we willingly share our time, talents, and possession with others, for indeed we have received from the Lord freely and without cost, we pray. For Agnes Honk Tran, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our 
For all the name and petition written in our book of prayers, we pray. Silently, we present our petition to the Lord. We pray. In thanksgiving for the gift of life, we pray for Marie de Chena. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, may your faithful people collaborate in the spread of your kingdom. Some to announce the gospel and others receive it with joy. May your peace reign in our hearts and to everyone. Amen. Our offertory hymn will be number 524, 524, Bread of Life. Bread of life, oh, of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another, as we proclaim your death, as we recall your life, we remember your promise to return again. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, us now, give us life, lead us to one another, the bread we break and share was scattered once as grain, just as now it is gathered, make your people one. Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. It acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, the Lord, and day by day bring our contact closer to the life of heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and with the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and archangels were drawn to the dominions, and all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks and broke it. Gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and bury our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you 
take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
As you go to the sick and the homebound, taking the time of the sacrament that was celebrated, but also the word of God that you have heard. So let's the affection this parish community as for the prayers of those whom you have to visit and return. Go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all kneel. O Salutaris Stiga Qui Pan sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is thee. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now in the hour of our death. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, world without end. Amen. Let us all together pray the adoration prayer. My Lord Jesus Christ, 
I believe that you are really here in this sacrament. Narente, you remain here compassionate and loving. You call, you wait for. You welcome everyone who cares to visit you. I thank you, Lord Jesus, my divine Redeemer, for coming upon the earth for our sake and for instituting the adorable sacrament of the Holy Eucharist in order to remain with us until the end of the world. Thank you for hiding beneath the Eucharistic species. I thank you have majesty and beauty, which your angels delight to behold, so that I might be encouraged to approach the throne of your mercy. I thank you, dear Jesus, for having become the priceless victim to merit for me the fullness of heavenly favors. Awaken in me such confidence in you that their fullness may descend ever more fruitfully upon my soul. I thank you for offering yourself in thanksgiving to God for all his benefits, spiritual and temporal, which he has bestowed on me. Grant me the grace and perseverance in your faithful service. Amen.